it's your girl Asim. I'm going if you're new to this channel thank you for joining me and please do stick around it if you are a retiny welcome back sweetheart so i decided to just hmm, share a few things that has been going on with my life so basically this is a life update guys <laughs> it has not been easy this lockdown has our lives on a stand still basically but we have to keep moving somehow have to find a way so it has been great being with family because i mean with family they keep you sane you know it's a support structure that you need in order for you to succeed somehow so with this lockdown my family has been literally everything i don't get to see them as much often as i used to when i was staying at home since i'm staying at res but being here has just made me realize how important family is and also being here at home it has its ups and downs because you know at home you expected to wake up in the morning expected to do your daily chores and i still have online classes so juggling those two things has not been the easiest but i'm making it work because at the end of the day i want to finish with my with my degree and yeah so we have been having online classes and data guys a child's data because i have three hour online meetings which i need to attend because if i don't attend it feels like oh my word i am behind it feels like i'm lectures and lectures and lectures behind you get morning lectures and we also attend afternoon lectures so you have the information that you learned in the morning and then of the information or the work that you did in the afternoon so you have to know that and bear in mind you're not only going through lectures and whatnot you also have um group assignments you have group presentations and also you have self-study which is basically work that they don't cover in the meetings that you have to go and do yourself so it's all of that it's just overwhelming there's so much pressure and i do not think i'm coping like i know for a fact that i am not coping but i don't have a choice i know a lot of people that have deregistered because this pressure is a lot because what the lectures are trying to do is just make sure that we finish this year and we finish all the things that we're supposed to do this year and it's not easy because it's lectures presentations self-study it's um quizzes it's tests everything is just a lot it's it's a lot and the only time that you really have is the weekend and most of okay what i do on my weekends i do what i'm doing now because this is something i love and also not only that i first have to finish my schoolwork. so what i basically do if we have um a group presentation i make sure that i finish my part so i'll just google whatever and check out look on the textbook everything that i need to put in the presentation and make sure that it's done so on my weekends i know that okay at least i have time to vlog or make a video and also i have time to take pictures for instagram and i'm only doing that some people are like oh, why do you have to go through all this trouble this is i'm doing something that i love so i have to continue you have to be consistent with things that you love because hard work pays off eventually all of this that i'm doing now it's gonna pay off i know that it will so i have to continue because i know that i have to juggle content creating and also school because i'm gonna benefit from both so i have i need to make sure that i'm giving 100 percent in everything that i do that is the person that i am but with school this online thing it's not working or they call it the remote learning it's not working for all of us because some of us are facing network issues connection issues at home i'm always struggling with connection i, I don't know 
because if i go outside it's better but when i'm inside the house it's a problem so i decided with my own money that i'm gonna buy a router because i was hoping that it's gonna be better and it has been for the first time since april now it's like what june i was able to sit in a three hour lecture meeting for the first time and because other days i couldn't sit maybe like for I, I only sat for like what 10 minutes and then connection so it would just kick me out of the meeting and due to that it has put me back like days 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 because i'm writing now in june and i don't know much of the things we've been doing i'm gonna be honest i'm not gonna be here lying i am behind so i need to work i need to study i need to make notes i need to do everything that i can in order for me to pass this semester because i did very well first semester now second semester because of this whole whole thing it has thrown me off yeah I'm, I'm i'm usually the person that works very well under pressure i i know it's a bad habit but i always study days before a test some people do like study months and weeks but i'm the person that studies studies a few days maybe two days three days before the actual test which is very bad because whenever i write maybe there will be like a question that i remember seeing but I don't remember what I saw. Like I'll know what it, no man. There was something about um what pregnancy and how to deliver, but I don't remember the steps. So I know one or two things, but it's like a five mark question and I only know like two points because I know how to deliver a baby, for instance. That's such things. And guys, what is making me more upset is the fact that I'm doing midwifery, which is basically learning about delivering um, babies and making sure that the mother and the baby are safe throughout the pregnancy from the day she finds out that she's pregnant till she gives birth and after she gives birth. I've always wanted to do this and now I'm doing it like this. It's not easy because now I learn better from observing, from visualizing now i'm looking at videos okay this is how you examine the mother this is how you check how old the baby is this is how you do abdominal examinations vaginal examinations it's it's not the same as doing it as seeing it as seeing the woman who's pregnant actually examining her stomach and looking at the vagina and examining it it's not the same because at least i can touch i can do everything now i can't do that and it's upsetting because oh guys it's something that i wanted to do now we are here but this lockdown has also been a blessing because people are always on their phones right because there's not much that we can do at home or wherever we are so we're constantly on our phones just to keep ourselves sane in some way so that has been a blessing because people are watching my videos people are following me on instagram people are noticing me and i appreciate that so it has been a blessing in like in that sense and also i'm making sure that i am constant um i'm making sure that i'm giving relatable content um because i don't want to to fake myself and act like i am this person well no like that's not gonna benefit me in any way i need to make sure that you guys know who Uathume is and i'm this person I, i'm not gonna change and act like i'm this bougie i'm this mm, 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 this is me I love makeup, so that's why I have makeup. Other than that, I'm just a normal girl from a township called Delft. Like, one of the dangerous places in Cape Town. That's me. But I'm always indoors. People don't even know that I stay here. But that is the person that I am. 
so yeah so at school it hasn't been easy my family have been my support system my friends well i don't actually have a lot of friends that's me i had a lot of friends in primary school high school not a lot like with me there's different layers when it comes to friendship right i have friends school friends i have close friends i have best friends they all play a certain role in my life and i have a few 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 close friends maybe they i think they're like what three people that i can count on if i need something i can count on and there's just other people that you just talk to you yeah, and it's 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 okay because you don't have to be friends with everyone because not everyone is for you i learned that the hard way you need to understand yourself the type of person that you are and if you do understand who you are and um what you deserve you're not gonna let every dick and harry come in your life you're gonna know you know i don't deserve this person in my life because we are totally different and that's okay it doesn't mean that the other person is bad or you bad it's just that you are not compatible as friends and that is totally okay i've learned that the hard way and sometimes i'd sit and be like oh my word like what type of person am i i do not have friends or i have like little friends close to nothing and that's fine because i have family i have my mother who i talk to about everything she's like my best friend we talk about everything 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 <laughs> almost everything but my mom is understanding she knows that Ashume is like dating she doesn't know who i'm dating but she knows that she's dating coming to dating <laughs> oh it, it it has not been easy because my boyfriend is in eastern cabin is london and i am here in cape town so we we communicate obviously via whatsapp or instagram or whatever but i'm so used to seeing him here close now we depending on this i'm very affectionate i'm the person that wants a person to be here i love cuddles i love hugging i love touching i love walking hand in hand i am that person and now it's been like what three months two three two months without seeing him and it's taking a toll on me and because okay other reason is that we met last year and we started being like serious this year so imagine starting to to know the person starting to get comfortable like the person goes away and you go home and it's a lot and now you can only video call you can only call and send messages it's not easy it's not it's not but knowing that we're gonna see each other even if it's maybe what in october or whenever i know that we're gonna see each other again so that keeps me going and it was his birthday two days ago i was shattered that i couldn't spend his birthday with him so you know when you're starting a new relationship you need to understand each other you need to get to know each other and that is not happening at the moment and it's it's really not easy guys because at least if it's someone that you've known for years someone that you've been dating i think it would be better but now it's a new relationship you just started to get to know the person so it's hard it's hard and the other thing oh guys south africans do not listen they really are not they're not taking this whole coronavirus thing seriously since i'm a nursing student i know the precautions that we have to take when it comes to pandemics right and when you tell people it's like it's not gonna happen to me or i think our people only take something serious when it happens to them or someone close to them if it's still happening to other people it's like 
that's like where in wherever it's and i'm not there so i'm not affected in any way so why am i saying okay i need to move on with my life all of that and it is sad because this is a serious issue i know someone i know a lot of people that are infected and i can't talk about this because it's uh, people's lives and i'm not in that um i know how serious this is i know people that have it at the moment and i know someone that has recovered from it and i know people that have passed away because of it so i know how serious it is so people please do the necessary precautions because it's serious and i have to to educate my family because one thing that i've noticed that there's so many messages that are being passed on on whatsapp and our family or our parents are starting to believe these things like umklonyane yes umklonyane works for e flu and all of that other things but this is more serious it's not we can't just believe everything that we read and everything that we are seeing on messages that's why it's important to not share everything that you see on the internet don't share those things only when it's shared by the government then yes so i had to to educate my family because i understand everything not everything but i do understand the gist of everything that is happening so please make sure that your family is educated about the the corona to make sure that you stay at home you do the things that you're supposed to do like washing your hands coughing in your elbow and all of those things because it is hectic out there and it's so sad that the kids are playing till from the morning to late at night it's like normal it's a normal day for them and even our 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 parents they know what is going on but they still go and visit friends they still still do the things that they are not supposed to do why they are not educated so please educate your family tell them what you know and listen to the news guys cuz cape town is the epicenter and it is bad it is bad mna my my i have a 7 year old brother and a 2 year old sister they love going outside but they can't because there's someone who lives close to us that have it and that have coronavirus and we should treat everyone like they have it basically so you must make sure that you are protected because our parents they have other illnesses and when you have other illnesses like diabetes tb high blood pressure it hits you hard because already you have those other diseases now you have this one on top of it and already your your their immune systems are weak so this one just hits them hard and with people who are diabetic who have tb and other respiratory diseases it's there is less chances of them um recovering that's the sad part so please guys let's just educate our people and let's stop sending these messages on on whatsapp some of them are really irrelevant our parents are not educated about diseases and and maybe coronaviruses so let's try to educate them let's be safe guys please it's important we need each other 
at times like these so let's just take care of each other and yes that's the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed do not forget to like subscribe and comment how have you been surviving and what's keeping you sane at this moment and what are you appreciating because we have to say that coronavirus has actually brought a lot of families together so share tell me what has been happening how are you coping with school yeah so see you in the next